Yo, what's good guys? I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, lucky, you know, something really ambient, something even like old Playboy Cardi could go on. Let's get into it. So this is my chord progression right here. So as you can see, the chords are actually really simple. It's just three triads. And I just like move like the notes in like different spots and places. So like every note comes in like in a different time. And it's just like a little bit of ear candy. And then all I did was copy the F, A, and F, which is like the root notes of the chords. And I just pasted them in an octave below. And the preset I went with was an expand in this bright pads um, area. And expand has like a lot of pad sounds and stuff. So, you know, it's a pretty good VST. Then I got this lead right here. So I wanted like a lead or something to like switch it up, but I didn't want to add anything crazy. So I just added this like really low key lead. And this is also from Expand. It's in the soft leads area. And this is the final melody right here. So I wanted to create like a really like basic, like little pluck pattern. And it just sounds like really nostalgic for some reason. And this is also from Expand. It's in the soft leads again. It's called a self oscillating. And then I also added some regular fruity reverb to it. I think I added the venue preset. Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole melody. So I'm gonna just run through like this part of it so you guys can hear all of it together. All right, so now that we're done with the melody, I'm gonna get into the drums. Here's my hi-hat pattern. So that's pretty much all of like the percussions and stuff. So let's get into 808. So pretty much I just went with like the regular Zay 808. Maybe I should have went with something that has like a little bit longer of a release, but I don't know. I made this beat like really quick, but I pretty much just followed the bottom notes of the chord progression and you know, kept it really simple. So as you can see, I turned up the velocity all the way. And then over here, I turned down everything except for a hold. I turned that all the way up. And then I turned on cut self. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole drum pattern. So I'm gonna show you how that sounds without the melody. So yeah, as you guys heard, it's really, really basic, really simple, you know, and it's not even like anything crazy. Like these are like pretty much just like normal sounds, you know, it's nothing like a, it's not like a rare 808 or hi-hat. Like you can pretty much find this anywhere in like any drum kit. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. So I'm gonna just show you the mixer real quick. I pretty much just do everything here. I don't really touch the mixer, except I added the soft clipper to the master. This is the EQ on the main chord progression. This is the EQ on that little basic lead. And then that pluck with like a lot of reverb on it has this EQ. And yeah, then I just went ahead and arranged it. You know, I took out the 808 and hi-hats in some spots just to like give it more energy when it drops in. And then I just added this little outro. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole beat. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and sub and also follow me on Instagram. And yeah, with that being said, here's the full beat.